Thanks for coming. You're welcome. There she goes. Welcome back. Welcome back friends to the Pennine Way Adventure, day 13. Dale had to remind me what day it was. <laughs> and on that note, here's Dale. Boo booed. <laughs> <Morning>. <laughs> it's good to have you along mate, there's no booing from me. <laughs> Cheers. <Yeah. laughs> now, uh, didn't have to twist his arm so much today. Um, I think you're quite interested in doing this bit yeah, anyway. Yeah, so I've not done you? the Adrian's wall before, so yeah. good excuse. So you're joining us just after the first incline, so please forgive the, the, the um, breathlessness and the perspiration on the brow, but it's all part of the fun. Just behind me there are where the crags begin, and we can see some proper Hadrian's Wall. We are walking on the course of Hadrian's Wall at the moment, after starting from Greenhead. Dale met me down there, Lisa dropped me off there, AKA the emotional support crew who stayed in the Airbnb last night at a town about five or six miles west that I can't remember the name of. I think Brampton or something like that. That's probably right. Today's walk is 21 miles to Bellingham. And I've had a, an, an independent adjudicator from the local area um, double check my pronunciation of that. <laughs> just a moment ago, we ran into a guy and uh, he was just telling us how nice it was along here. Okay, so it's gonna be a really good day, I have no doubt about that. It's a little bit cloudy, so we're hoping the cloud lifts a little bit so we can get great views of this, I believe, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And if it's not, then it should be. <laughs> There's a defib on the wall there, Dale, so we're all right if uh, this next climb is a bit of a steep one. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> and there we are, the start of the good stuff. If the weather plays ball and that cloud lifts a little bit, the views are just going to get better and better as we go. But it's good to be back. Bloody Romans, what have they ever done for us? Nice to meet you both again. You. Bye -bye. It's definitely what makes the trip, the people you meet along the way. I mean, I've got a guy following me at the minute. I'm not quite sure who he is, but uh, he won't leave me alone. Where? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple just back there, I've seen them for the last three days and they're just walking in the local area, but I've been bumping into them at various stages. First met them when Dale and I were on Cross Fell. Starting to get dramatic now. I'm not sure if this is officially sanctioned or not, but it is hobnob, but it's in a different shape. Oh no, in a wall. <laughs> <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I um, loaded up the fundraising page because I had quite a lot of emails um, from when I was in my editing mode last night. I didn't get a chance to check them. And once again, absolutely speechless. Um, we've been having a great laugh on today, but on a serious note, so grateful uh, for everyone that's taken a look at the page and given what they can. We're over a thousand pounds already. You know what, I thought 500 quid's the target, but it was a bit of a dream. I thought, yeah, maybe we could raise a thousand pounds, but we've like gone over that in 48 hours. So huge thank you, everyone. Um, obviously no pressure at all. The link will be in the description of the video, providing I've not forgotten to put it in. Morning, madam. It's a spectacular route in a beautiful part of the world. 
but it's undulating. <laughs> That's probably the nicest way to put it, undulating. Yeah, it does it ups and downs. <sighs> what a day though. Perfect walking weather, I'd imagine. I'm not gonna burn my gin ginger legs today. <laughs> We're about to start the climb up to Windshields Crag and the trig point up there. I do remember that being one of my favourite points on the wall as well. Um, hopefully, it's looking like the view is going to be good. The clouds lifted nicely. And I think that is probably one of the most, or one of the iconic places along the wall. If you do a Google image search, you'll probably come up with the trig at Windshields Crag. Touch the trig. Dale knows the score. Looking good. Not just Dale, the walk, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I think this next bit is my favorite bit. Windshield crag, steel rig, sycamore gap. This is what I've been looking forward to on this like section of the walk. I spoke about it a few days ago, or probably over a week ago now, when I was saying that there's like landmarks in my mind that I want to get to or want to get past. And this is another landmark, Hadrian's Wall. It's kind of sad in a way that once I leave Hadrian's Wall, this will be, will be down to two days. And I really don't want the trip to come to an end, to be honest. If I'd got more time, I mean, we're not there yet. There's still two days to go. Anything can happen, but um, <laughs> I'd love to just keep walking. <laughs> walk back. Yeah, walk back, yeah. Walk back home. <laughs> And every day I can just uh, hum the one of the greatest tunes of all time. That's Going Home from Local Hero by Mark Knopfler. Do, 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 do. I won't bore you with the rest. Hello there. Hello. I've not got any treats, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think you can feed horses hobnobs. <laughs> that was a nice climb. East of the steel rig car park, it drops down and then climbs back up again. I do remember this section of the wall being quite busy, but as I was saying earlier, I think, I suppose many others do, that it's the most spectacular. And there's a car park just there, so it's within easy reach of uh, anyone on day trips. I may have mentioned already that um, back in probably 2015, something like that, I walked Hadrian's Wall. Um, the coastal trek from west to east and we extended it a bit from the end at Wall's End uh, over to Whitley Bay to make it a full coast to coast. Did it with my good friend Rick aka Big Rick on all good social networks and Adrian Turbostream he joined us for the first day. So hi guys also like to say hello to Robert as well Rick's dad and his mum Daphne they were so so welcoming and so uh, um, great uh, supporting us during that trek. So Shame you can't be here, Rick, but I only gave you 24 hours notice, so my bad. Sorry, mate. I think it's lunchtime. Lunch. We'll try and get a picture when the crowd's clear. And as if by magic, the wall clears and we get the perfectly framed shot of Sycamore Gap. Looking very good indeed. And as if by magic, after the other day, Lisa watched the videos and look what we've got. Can I interest you, mate? You want one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was very kindly giving me the gift that keeps on giving 
well, at least until the packets run out, but yeah, <laughs> we have hobnob supplies. So any weary travelers that I meet along the way um, will be refreshed and replenished by their goodness. You can t tempt them with your hobnob. I can, yeah. <laughs> Dale's trying to get the hobnob shot. <laughs> Time to move on. Because it's such an iconic tree, we've got to touch the tree as well, obviously. Famous for many reasons, but one of them being the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves uh, film. You can't walk on the wall nowadays, or it's discouraged, but I know um, Robin and Azim are walking on the hill up the wall there. Quite an iconic uh, scene from the opening of the film. So this is where Dale and I part ways for a second time. For a second time. Thank you, mate. Thanks for inviting me. It's been fantastic. That's that word again. Fantastic. It's been great. It certainly has. This is where the Penang Way heads off to the northeast over uncharted territory for me. So we'll see what it brings. But I hope you have a nice afternoon. Yes, I hope you have a good conclusion to your walk. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm feeling quietly confident. The weather is going to be shining down on me. I've got my sun cream on. I've got my hat. Fellow gingers, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. See you later. Take care. Ta -da. What a splendid day. I'm leaving Hadrian behind, leaving Dale, and it's been, it's been a good one. It really has. But we're back into the bog now. <laughs> Try and jump it, Ooh, didn't sink. So it's another, about 11 or 12 miles, something like that, to Bellingham this evening. And I'm not sure if I've already mentioned it, but when I was talking to Rob, when we were walking last week, uh, he mentioned that he'd stayed in a place that got a swimming pool. So I was like, booking.com. And yeah, there's a country club that's got a swimming pool. So, I'm gonna look a proper mess rocking up to that uh, country club, but all being well, I'm gonna dive in that pool. <laughs> I'm absolutely speechless again. <laughs> and it doesn't happen very often. Um, I keep seeing those emails pop through on the Fitbit, um, telling me that someone's donated and I had a wee bit of a wobble back there because my boss uh, sent me a message. He's done the Pennine Way himself and many moons ago and he's been willing me along all the way. And the company that I work for have very kindly donated 500 pounds. So I'm absolutely speechless and really do support sorry i can't even talk <laughs> really do uh, feel so grateful for all the support that i'm getting because i am just a ginger out for a walk but i'm so pleased that i can make it less about me less about me just collecting sunburn and bruises and the smell of bog for 268 miles so pleased that i chose to set up that page and that we can all do something for the greater good so thank you honestly i i'm speechless into the woods right let's get these miles smashed out come on <laughs> Quite boggy in the forest here in this section. We've come off the forestry track and we're right in the uh, the thick of it. 
this is absolute bliss walking through the woods here. We've still got another probably about eight miles to go, something like that, but I'm really enjoying today. Thanks again, Dale. It was a really good laugh. <laughs> we just laughed all the way along Hadrian's Wall. And to embrace the bog once again. No point trying to avoid it. Just plow on through. Whoop, <laughs> that was a bit deeper than I was expecting. <laughs> Walk us welcome through gate, shed on left. What an amazing little place here. I've just topped up the water supplies. I'm gonna leave a monetary donation, but I'm also gonna leave a full packet of hobnobs for the weary hikers. So, Rob, Murray, Julie, these are for you. <laughs> and anyone else who passes through. <laughs> Hashtag Team Hobnob. What a beautiful evening. Just relaxing outside the honesty shop. And then I'm gonna get on the move in a minute. Been here about 15 minutes, something like that. Just a quick chat to Lisa. Um, but yeah, the going's good. Feeling quite fatigued today, actually. I think it's the uh, the excitement of Hadrian's Wall and the climbing and falling and climbing and falling. It's a spectacular route, but a lot of energy is involved in that. <laughs> what a great guy. Just been speaking to the farmer here at the Horny Steed. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, farm. And uh, they're the ones that have got that honesty shot back there. His wife is actually starting the Pennine Way in a couple of days time he's taking her to Hexham she's getting the train to Sheffield and then to Edel so she'll be walking past home on the way to Kirk Yetham nice to meet you Ben nice to meet you all the best Thank you very much, you have a good one pal. Thank you. Well that was a chance meeting. Um, I'd seen a picture of Ben on either Facebook or Twitter a few days ago and it was a, a lady called Sarah um, from Edel that posted it. She's a runner, but I, for some reason I thought Ben was walking south or north because he was at the train station at uh, Edel, but he's walking north to south, so all the best mate. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. <laughs> You may have guessed by the sight of the poles, I'm um, putting the hammer down now. Um, the final few miles, probably about an hour, an hour and a half, something like that, over the hill and down to Bellingham. It's um, a stunning evening. Um, I was savouring it earlier on, but I thought, let's uh, get the foot down so I can get the video edited and uploaded overnight. I, I doubt that uh, swimming pool is looking likely tonight. <laughs> no messing around tonight. Powered by the sound of the legend that is Gary Moore. I'll wash my feet a wee bit. It'll last all of five minutes, I'm sure. Come on! Whew. That was an amazing climb out of the valley. I really do find that the poles, when I'm starting to feel a bit fatigued, took the poles out and uh, I can go back up a gear again. Whew. Right, we're getting there people, we're getting there. About another mile and a half to go now, so about 35, 40 minutes and we'll be there, tops. Whew. I'm definitely ready to uh, finish today. I'm shattered. <laughs> Thank you. 
we've arrived, <laughs> get out of the way, <laughs> we've arrived in Bellingham. Amazing sunset. I've been so lucky with the weather. Totally understand that it could be a hell of a lot worse. And we are here. Excellent. I forgot the name of the place. We're in Bellingham, but that's the only thing that matters really. It's been around about a 22 mile day today, a little bit further than I expected, but what's an extra mile between friends? It's been a thoroughly enjoyable day, but I'm ready for a shower and some food. So I'm gonna sign off here and then begin the transfer of the videos. It's gonna be another late one, I think, after midnight. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.